Okay, this is Yax Note 754, and we're back with Doom 64 Retribution. Uh, Redemption Denied Campaign, and we're in a little bit of a tough spot, because the elevator, um, it doesn't do exactly what we thought it might do. So, yeah. And also you might notice that uh, this looks a lot, a lot better than the previous uh, videos that I've done. And that was because I updated uh, GZ Doom to uh, version 3.6.0. Uh, so that is the current version as we speak. So I updated that one. And uh, the benefit of having that, I also uh, put a lot of uh, graphic settings to the highest possible level. And I also changed the way to record this. And I'm using Radeon Raylive, which is the uh, AMD, uh, <clears throat> you know, desktop desktop graphic recording thing. So, but unfortunately, it is not the most reliable thing because, for whatever reason, it refuses to record OpenGL. And guess what? Doom 64 Retribution and many of the games I play happen to be using OpenGL. So, you can't really record pretty much anything with it, except that if it's running windowed and borderless. So, in this case, I had to do a little bit of a compromise and record this uh, windowed. But, you know, the benefit of doing so is, however, that I don't need to suffer from frame rate loss and I can play this uh, the high, with the highest possible visual settings and it looks great and it plays like a dream so yeah with that out of the way this is indeed the uh, third map of uh, Redemption Denied and uh, the ammo policy here is uh, I would say a little bit low so hopefully I won't run out of ammo but mostly we do get uh, the same usual stuff. Hell Knights, uh, Cacodemons, Demons and stuff. And this is the moment where I start uh, saving for some ammo. But yeah, that should be most of it. Let's open up the secret area and then we pick up that one. And let's go inside the secret area. Whoa, that's, uh, holy moly. Well, if that's what you want, that's what you'll get. This, uh, sure didn't go as planned. Uh, fun fact about the secret area. Um, I made some research on this, and, um... Apparently you can't get that secret, because there is actually a teleporter in this map uh, that takes is supposed to take you there. The teleporter itself is working, but there is no way, to my understanding, to lower that teleporter in any way. So, I couldn't find... I actually looked up this uh, after uh, wandering on, on this map, trying to find out that secret for a pretty long time. And when I looked up uh, inside... Uh, GZ Doom Builder, I couldn't really find anything that would trigger the teleporter, not even any of the scripts. I couldn't find a tag value that was associated with that teleporter, or actually there weren't any, you know, things associated with that, so it's not probably working, so Mr. Nevander, you got some work to do. Uh, but yeah unless somebody has already tipped him off about it. But it's this sector right here which is supposed to be the teleporter. But uh, I probably want to get that supercharge. I think it was, uh, where's this one computer? I think it was um, over here. Use that, run really quickly over here, shoot the switch. And then go inside over here and get the supercharge. But prepare for a Hell Knight. And there will be a second Hell Knight right around the corner. And I'm taking this some serious beating once again. <clears throat> yeah, there goes my supercharge. Damn. 
Okay, so where was this area where I was supposed to go? Because this map is, well, it is a huge map, so it can be sometimes quite easy to get lost. And right now I feel a little bit lost. Uh, I think it was this area where I, where I was previously at. Yes, I think it's this one. But of course it feels great to play uh, with like the full graphic settings and you know and also the benefit of using this recording method is that it doesn't take uh, so much uh, hard drive space and stuff so it's also better that way. And this door won't open. So I, I think this was one of those doors that uh, has to be opened from the other side. And two of the keys are here. So let's start hunting. Oh, wait, I wasn't supposed to come here. Uh, probably gonna have to turn down the music volume a little bit. Oh yeah, here we have, here we are. We are totally lost. Uh, I just don't even want to look at the auto map because it's so friggin' oh yeah, disorienting. But in, in any case, here is one of the secret areas. Let's get that one, uh, and then we shall proceed over here. And let's not try to take too much damage from those Hell Knights this time around. And there will be some more enemies. Although I don't really understand what the invisibility is supposed to do to us at this point, it doesn't really do anything. So, but in any case, let's go over here. Use the switch, it probably did something important. Only if I remember what it did. But I guess uh, that's something that we will find out in a minute. Uh, it's not here. Could it be here? Oh yeah, here it is. And now it's safe to go down the stairs. Oh wait, actually this does not, does not open yet. But I think... If it wasn't that one, then it must have been something around here, maybe. Because in, uh, at least in case of this map, it's... Wait, what? When did I get the blue key? I totally missed that. <laughs> well, I guess I have it already, so why, why to complain? And now I'm gonna go check that door. Ah, oh, man, it wasn't this one. But I think this uh, benefits us so that... Yeah, now it's open. So this is where we have to go. Prepare to be stunned. And this is the door I was talking about. Uh, only if I remember how to lower uh, the first key. Because I think... Um, oh yeah, it must be this one then. Oh yeah, this will take us to uh, one of those switches that will lower... Uh, I think it's the yellow key, uh, which is lowered first. Yeah, it's the yellow one. Use the switch, but prepare for an instant Hell Knight ambush. 
All right, so now the yellow key should be uh, there for the take. Right, and with the yellow key, I think uh, we must go this way if I got it right. Let's just mow everything down. That's completely my style, so why not? And that's exactly what you deserve, Mr. Cacodemon. And this is the uh, basically copy-paste version of the Yellow Key Trap, so beware. Chain gun, not a good thing, and we do get these guys. Whoa, that's a little bit dangerous, Mr. Cacodemon. But with the red key, uh, we have to start backtracking to this area. And maybe it is here. No, it's not. Is it this way? No. Guessing game continues. But yeah, it's like, I, I honestly, if I even look at the auto map of this map, it's like my brain starts to melt. So that's something that I don't want to do. So I'm just going to go out there somewhere and hopefully I will eventually find my way through this map, which uh, at the moment seems to be the case, because we're, we're almost done with this map. Right, terrific. And I'm gonna do some final exploring. I don't quite remember where that one secret was because on, during uh, one of my earlier attempts, I was able to find uh, six out of seven secrets. So I wonder what that one secret was because that teleporter secret um, with the invulnerability, I don't think there's a way to get it. And I don't want to cheat, so... But there's always that, that armor, so that's something that I would gladly take. Oh wait, one of the secrets was actually here. It's right there. Yeah. That's all the secrets we're gonna get. So maybe we should just leave, because that's really the maximum number of secrets that we can get. Uh, okay, where's that freaking exit? I already forgot where it was. Uh, this map honestly makes my brain melt. I just don't have any idea where I'm going, and but yet somehow I find my way. So, <laughs> okay, let's get out of here. Jesus Christ. <sighs> that is level three deep sector. Uh, took me 14 minutes, even I felt like I was fairly fast, but I still spent a good deal of time wandering around, so that cost me like a couple of minutes. A uh, very, very large map. And uh, it is quite easy to get lost here, and particularly if you don't have, like, a very strong uh, sense of location. Uh, this map is going to make make you kind of pay a price for that. And But fortunately, if you're good, good reading the order map and, and stuff, you will hopefully find your way around this complicated tech base eventually. But, you know, the architecture is really nice here, and, you know, even like it's a wide map, it's like there's lots of variety. 
And also the monster closet policy seems to be continuing in this one. So the monster closets are kind of like favored over the fate spawn monsters, which is a little bit unusual, but not too bad. It, it was still a fun map to play and there was lots of action. Although there were some tense moments, but I think that was mostly because of bad luck. Nothing really to do with like nasty monster placement or anything <clears throat> because I got like badly bit by those demons early on uh, when I was going for that rocket uh, rocket box secret but you know it is it is a very very long and somewhat disorienting map but it is it is still a great map and it, it truly deserves its place in um, among uh, many doom 64 retribution levels so yeah overall fairly enjoyable although a little bit low ammo map <clears throat> but since I am a huge fan of Super Shotgun, I just can't stop using it. Should it mean that I might get a little bit, like, sanctioned by my reckless uh, SSG usage, but, you know, whatever. I don't care. As long as I can hear that <clears throat> for, like, 10 hours straight, I'm completely fine. But in any case, I think that's really everything, and we're going to move on to the next map, which is Command Center. I don't know if... Is this like one of those E2M5 type of command centers? But yeah, I think that's really everything. So this was Doom 64 Retribution, uh, Redemption Denied, Level 3, uh, Deep Sector. So next time we're going to take on Level 4, Command Center. So yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this. So yeah, thanks for watching and see you around.